Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click that link below and send a donation. All right. So this one says, uh, what's up? I'm in Atlanta where I have to be extremely careful about who I choose to date. My issue isn't meeting women or even having uh, sex. Lots of times I'll exchange numbers after a short conversation. I text a girl about getting together, date or hooking up and get a vague response. So I immediately delete the number and move on to the next. In my case, I usually see the same women again and they attempt to speak and engage in conversation. It's almost like they're pretending nothing happened for me to not pay them any more attention. This part is really frustrating to me. I don't get what it is um, these women are trying to convey to me by ignoring a direct message on my intentions. Then speak to me as soon as they see me again. Am I reading too much into it or am I doing the right thing by moving on to the next? And if I am approached again by a female after I message or talk to her about hooking up and she doesn't give a precise answer, should I just ignore her when I see her when I see them again? It's no hard feelings, but it's confusing as hell. Uh, diseases are beyond rampant in Atlanta and women here are always on some sneaky stuff. I just um, like to play it safe. All right. So, you know, what's happening is, is that you're just dealing with attention whores. That's really all it's about like a lot of guys have situations like this where they you know holler at a chick to get her information they try to text or call or whatever she's not being responsive and then they'll be in situations like let's say a guy in his school or a guy in his neighborhood where he sort of like runs into the same girl that he's trying to holler at and then she wants to come up and say something like nothing happened or whatever it is like that or he's just sort of in a situation where he's going to see her again and he might feel like it's awkward and all this other stuff so what you got to understand is is that when you encounter women who do this right you don't owe them anything you understand what i'm saying you don't need to like really you know engage in conversation and you know do all this extra shit right um what you don't want to do is you don't want to um you know necessarily avoid them like on purpose you understand and then have them seeing you avoiding them on purpose because all it's doing is basically giving them validation you understand? And this is the, the only reason why they're doing this is because they're attention whores and they want validation. So the way that it's giving them validation is that if they see that you're going out of uh, your way to sort of ignore them or make it, in, make it an issue, they know that you're making it an issue because you are upset or you're, you know, the, the fact that they're not responding to your texts or calls is affecting you. You understand? And by them seeing that it's affecting you, what it's doing is that it's giving them more validation. It's giving them that attention that they want. You understand what I'm saying? And so, you know, the thing that you can do is if you see these chicks and they come up to you and they talk to you, you know, you could talk to them like how you would talk to anybody else. The thing is, you don't necessarily have to talk to them. But if you, you know, don't talk to them, what it should be is that it should be in a way where. You're just not doing it because you don't feel like it and not necessarily you're not doing it because you're upset or you're trying to avoid them. You understand? Because if they see that or whatever, all you're doing is basically, uh, you know, helping them out with their, you know, getting their attention fix. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you're saying that should you keep it moving? Yes, definitely just keep that shit moving. If you talk to a chick and you trying to, you know, make something happen and you texting her and she ain't hitting you back and then all of a sudden she want to talk to you when she see you, you understand? Don't try to get back with her. Don't try to talk to her and ask her, oh, why you ain't returning my calls? Don't say none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? As far as you're concerned, she's done. You understand what I'm saying? As far as you are concerned, she is over. It's done. You've charged her ass to the game. You understand? So the thing is, is that, you know, if you're if she comes up to you when she's talking to you, when you're having a conversation, it's just like some regular shit. It's almost like basically you put her ass in the friend zone like you're done. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you don't have to necessarily, um, you know, indulge in 
the situ- these situations with these women. You understand? I just want you to know that you don't have to go the extra mile to co- to have a conversation with them. You don't have to entertain uh, their nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? You should not be texting them again. You just got to keep it moving um, ASAP. Like, just stop fucking with them. You understand what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is that by you continuously trying to deal with that, all you're doing is giving them more attention. That's all it is. You understand? So just holler at other women um, and just keep it moving. That's it. You don't really have to even make this an issue at all. I know a lot of guys, they hit me up um, with this same type of issue and they're making it an issue. They're like, oh, but what if I see her again? She, you know, uh, I, I text her. She didn't hit me back. What happens if I see her? What happens in this? What happens in that? Who the fuck cares? Don't you? You, you should not care about uh what she's gonna think and 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 how she's gonna feel and then you shouldn't be feeling awkward about the situation nah the situation is 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 done like there 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 is no situation between you and her you understand what i'm saying there's nothing going on between you and her it's done right so even if she comes up and talks to you it's just like any other random girl that came up and talked to you that you wasn't even really doing anything yet as far as as far as you concerned all the shit that happened, uh, you know, didn't happen. It's like you went into a time machine and you, you know, you, you, you saw all this bullshit go down and then you went back in time before you tried to holler at her. And now you know not to holler at her anymore because she's on that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Because you now know what happens if you holler at this chick. But at the same time, you're not making it an issue. You're just treating it like it's any other day and you're just talking to some random chick that's in front of you. And But you keep it moving. You know now that she's an attention whore. You know now that she ain't about shit. So then you just keep it fucking moving. You understand? So don't concern yourself about, you know, um, what she's saying or what she's doing and how she's feeling. And you shouldn't be feeling awkward and all that other crazy shit. Just keep that shit moving. Keep it pushing and just talk to other girls who are going to cooperate and who want to make something happen. All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, Guys, if you have any more questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership membership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com